Hi everyone, this is Tina. Welcome back to Saturday Morning Makes with Jill Norwood. Um, this is a collaboration that's been going on for over a year. Um, there are so many people that are uh, using the hashtag and sharing their projects and you can join as well. All you have to do is create something um, crafty and then share it on your YouTube channel in a video or you can post it on Instagram if you don't do videos, you could share it on Facebook, uh, Facebook or any other social media. Just use the hashtag SatMoreMakes, okay? And that hashtag will be down below. You can copy and paste it. And that's it, you guys. So let's get started. I'm going to share real quickly what I used, and then I'm going to share my projects. So this week, I decided to add Anna's hashtag in with them, with the Saturday Morning Makes. And Anna's hashtag was um, for September, silly in September. And I thought this cow stamp that I just recently picked up was the perfect stamp for um, a silly in September. So we have a cow here and it looks like she has walked through the clothesline and she's got the line wrapped all around her feet and she's got a sock hanging off her ear. She's got boxer shorts on top of her horns. Um, just so funny. This is so funny. You can see the little um, clothespins. And then down here we have some other types of, um, it looks like a dish rag. Um, oh, that's a pair of pants. It's just really, really funny, you guys. And I thought this was perfect for Silly in September. So I did use this on one of my cards. And that stamp is actually Art Impressions from 1996 and it's U-1485. I don't know if you can still find it. I got this in one of my um, my woodblock uh, lots that I purchased. Okay, this stamp I just recently got from scrapbook.com. It's a photo play. Um, it is actually, I'm looking for a date, 2022. So this one um, just came out for fall and I, it's a photo play and I got it from scrapbook.com. Sorry about the glare. Um, this is the back and it shows you the little girl. I just thought these two little girls were so cute. This one here is having hot cocoa and she's got a um, basket of apples. And I actually made two cards. I made one with this girl and one with this girl. It's okay, so I used that. This is a Magnolia stamp that I recently picked up on eBay and I, I was over on Pinterest and I got very inspired by this one card that was made. Um, and I went to eBay looking for this and I thought Gigi would like it too. So there were actually two of these on eBay. One was like around $8.99. The other one was probably more like a $13, but I bought both of them. One for me, one for Gigi. And I decided I was going to make the card very similar to the one I saw on um, Pinterest, okay? So this one is called Witch, Tilda, and Pumpkin, HW09. Um, and I don't know if you'll be able to see her, but um, she's sitting and she has pumpkins in her lap. And then um, the way I made it was like the card I saw on Pinterest. And what I did was, um, this is a not too shabby shop um, stamp set from the kit. And... I use this big pumpkin down here and the way I saw it on Pinterest was that this magnolia was leaning up against the pumpkin um, so you had to do some masking um, so that's what I did and I'll show that to you soon and then this was an MFT um, stamp set and I just used uh, the autumn greeting um, I'm not sure if I used any other sentiments out of here um, yeah, I'm not, I, I think that's the only one I use, the autumn greeting. Okay, so I use that. I use some of this, um, these are leaves sequins. So I use some of those. Cat scrappiness. This is um, for a mini slimline and this is stitched and scalloped. So I use this one. I use Gina Marie double stitch rectangles. I use this P1, P13 uh, paper pad. I just recently picked this up. I think um, it might be 2020. Nope, it's 2021, but I just bought it from uh, scrapbook.com. I love this paper. It's one of my favorite papers is the P13. 
it kind of reminds me a little bit about mint um, like mente because it has like cut parts on the lid on the back side so you can just cut them you can cut all those apart and that's what mente does too but this was a cute little halloween so i got that one and used it and the other paper pad i used was welcome fall by echo park and i have this i had this for a really long time i think i got this is one of my tuesday morning um things okay so those were all the things that i used and i'm going to just move them over here okay so the first card i'm going to share with you is the tilda so this is what i saw over on um pinterest and of course she used a different stamp for her pumpkin in the back um and her background is completely different um but i used papers from those two paper pads this is the double stitch rectangle color with copics and i just created the ground in the background myself with the copics and i put um wink Estella on the pumpkins not sure if you'll see that see that little glitter there it looks really good uh cute in person and then i used uh matching enamel dots on the top and the bottom corner and that's where i use that autumn greeting and then here's the inside and then i just stamped the back so isn't she so cute oh my gosh so the stamp is um just her and these little pumpkins in her lap and that's the other um pumpkin that i saw and i just kind of um when i saw jamie's stamps in the month um the kit i knew right away i was like oh yes that's gonna be that pumpkin's gonna be perfect for what i want to do so she's so cute i love it all right then i did the silly in september with the cow and so this is my cow card <laughs> oh my gosh it is very silly anna if you're watching thank you um for you know doing the silly in september it's so cute and it makes you laugh it just makes everything just better seeing something funny so here's little miss daisy she's got all these clothes hanging around her she's got the line around her legs and around her body and she's just a hot mess and she doesn't care <laughs> she has a little bit of um grass or weeds that she's been eating hanging out of her mouth and i just created the background um with the copics i did a little blue sky and then i added some grass and weeds i'm sorry about that noise um that's that is um river under my desk with a big bone <laughs> okay so use the double stitched uh rectangles i use black enamel dots i had some cow paper in my stash so i used a piece of that for the background i did i made this a happy birthday card because i like to make birthday cards every once in a while this way um when you need one you have it and then i put this little black bow from hobby lobby up here in the corner and I just really think that this came out so, so cute. And, you know, the double stitched, what it does is it cuts into the paper and then it will also cut out your pattern. I mean, your, your mat. So with this, you can see the double stitch because I cut into the paper. Can you see the double stitch? So the paper, and then you put your mat right back in where it cut out. And then you have the four lines of, of uh, stitching. So that's how that works. So here's the inside. And it says, let's party to the cows come home. <laughs> so cute. Um, I forgot where I got that sentiment. Um, I think that was a woodblock stamp that I had in my stash. And then here's the back. I, I ended up putting another mat on the back with the cow print. And then my signature down there. So, Anna, I hope this falls right into Silly in September. Because I thought it was very, very silly okay so let's move on to the next one these are the mini slim line cards that i made i had to use my envelope punch board to make the um envelope and it was pretty easy so here's the one girl with the hot cocoa cup color with copics i use the the scrap what's it cat scrappiness uh slim line it's a scallop and a stitch this is background paper from the um, pumpkin, the welcome fall paper. And then here's the inside, autumn greetings. 
and then I just saw in the back and I used those sequin leaves all over this and then I used one of the burlap bows from Hobby Lobby so isn't she cute and she's just ready she's right in that pile of leaves in the fall with her hot cocoa and hopefully she has her well she has earmuffs on and hopefully she's warm I put the brown for leggings so she has some leggings so cute so that was the first one and then here's the other one um let me just move these over just a little bit okay here's the other one and with this one i added some pumpkins down below i added some leaves i used the slimline uh, mini slimline again here this paper in the background um, is from that paper pad the welcome fall color with copics she has some apples and pears in her basket. I used three enamel dots up here, the green, red, and uh, sparkly gold. And I used them down here in the corner as well. I used another burlap bow from Hobby Lobby. And I just think she's the cutest. And then here I decorated the inside. I used the pumpkin and leaves, the leftovers that I had. And this was a cut apart from... Um, Oh my gosh, where was that? I don't think that was from that paper pad. It might have been from that paper pad. If not, it was from another fall paper pad that I had out on my desk. And the sentiment reads, gather gather the, the ones you love and feast with grateful hearts. And then here's the back where my signature is. So that is my fourth and final card. I want to thank you all so much for coming over and watching. Um, I hope that you guys, um, people that have not joined yet, I hope you all find, um, you know, lots of fun in doing this because I enjoy it so much and I know that you will too. So, um, like I said, if you don't do videos, you can post it on Instagram um, with the hashtag SatmoreMakes and the hashtag will be down below. Um, I hope you all have a great weekend. God bless, and we'll see you next Saturday. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.